say, have your way in this move, Lord. Have your way in the body of Christ, God. Have your way, Jesus. Confound the wisdom of this world, Jesus. Do it, Lord. I commit to standing strong for you, Jesus. We commit to that. We commit to stand strong amidst persecution, God. We, admit, we, we, we commit to standing strong. Even if people are saying we're from the devil, like they did to you, Jesus. We commit to standing strong for you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I see God releasing his fire now, baptizing you in the Holy Spirit. If this is something you surrender, this beautiful gift from God, this beautiful gift of the Holy Spirit, just surrender to him now. I release the fire of the Holy Spirit now to you in Jesus' name. I release the baptism now in Jesus' name. As you surrender to God, God will overtake every part of you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Come here now. Come here now. Come here. No. No. Come here. No. Enough. Enough tormenting this woman. Enough bringing sickness. No. Enough bringing darkness in her mind. Enough. On three, I command all of you to leave this woman in Jesus' name. One, two, three. Every one of you, now. I break every curse off of her now. I break every generational curse off of her now. In Jesus' name. Every demonic spirit of witchcraft, I command you to leave her now. No! Out now. now every spirit of anxiety leave her now in the order you entered her in the past generation out of her now every false god worship demonic spirit out of this woman now what does she owe you? Allow her to speak now. Her life. She heard her life. Okay. Allow her to speak. Allow her to speak. So, a key for you to be set free now is renouncing certain open doors that you opened up for the enemy to have access. That's why he said the life, because 
that's what it means. There's something that needs to be renounced. And when you do, you will be set free. So is there anything the Holy Spirit's revealing to you of areas you open the door up? Renounce so many things, and I'll just renounce them again. I renounce energy healing. I renounce infirmity. I renounce lust, pride. Oh! Acupuncture, new age. Mm. Reiki healing. Weaving in spiritual that's not of God and Jesus. Oh! And now it's trying to control everything. Oh! Versus letting God control. Hoping that it's going to be hard for me to conceive. Oh! <sighs> Renounce everything that is not true. <sighs> generational curses. <sighs> Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 I detach you now from everything you just renounced, every word you spoke. I detach you. I detach you now from all of that. I break every curse off of her now. Every word cursed off of her now. Every word curse she spoke over herself and received. Every word curse of infertility, of eczema, off of her now in Jesus' name. On three, I command every demonic spirit attached to every word she renounced to leave this woman now in Jesus' name. One, two, three out now. I renounce witchcraft or any witchcraft put on me. So you're now in past generations. Ah! I renounce. Ah! I break every witchcraft curse that was put on her from past generations. I declare every spirit of witchcraft in her and from past generations to go out of her now in Jesus' name. Now. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I speak complete freedom to you now. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Complete freedom to this woman now. Complete freedom. Complete freedom. Freedom. No spirit of idolatry can remain out of her now. No. Now. Uh. 
out of her now. No! Everyone. No. Now, in the order you entered her from past generations, leave her body now in Jesus' name. Now, no. stop your nonsense and leave this woman now. Now. No. Now. No. I commend every spirit of infirmity out of this woman now. No. Now in Jesus' name. Every one of you must leave this woman now. What does she owe you? serpent spirit to leave this woman now in Jesus name no. No. I break every curse off of any ring any object that she has in her possession now I detach her from that now in Jesus name from all jewelry with witchcraft on it Every demonic spirit attached to the witchcraft on rings and jewelry out of her now in Jesus' name. Ooh. Now. Now, no. you must leave this woman now in Jesus' name. Oh. Renounce spirits. Oh. I command every spiritual spouse, spiritual husband, to leave this woman now in Jesus' name. No! I break every tie to every spiritual spouse now. Now, in Jesus' name. I declare in the presence of this anointing, every one of you must leave her. I declare complete freedom to this woman now in Jesus name
Thank you, Jesus. I speak complete deliverance to continue in your life now, during this service, in this presence of this anointing. God is going to continue this great work. You sit here in the presence of this anointing. And just as you experienced that mighty deliverance last week, he's going to be freeing you throughout this whole thing. And Holy Spirit will be revealing more and more to you any doors that were open that need to be renounced. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We praise you, God. We praise you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Is this worse to renounce, Joyce? I renounce cerebral palsy, I renounce OCD, I renounce nightmares, I renounce acupuncture, I renounce Buddhism, I renounce getting red envelopes, I renounce wearing religious jewelry, I renounce homosexuality, I renounce meditation, I renounce orphan mentality, I renounce victim mentality, I renounce anxiety, I renounce depression, I renounce self-harm, I renounce stomach bloating, I renounce constipation, I renounce seizures, I renounce psychological medication, I renounce generational witchcraft, I renounce family miscarriages, I renounce fear, I renounce physical abuse, emotional, I renounce emotional abuse, I renounce sexual abuse, I renounce molestation. Thank you, Lord. I declare now every word she spoke, I detach her from every word spoken of renouncement now in Jesus' name. I remove all of the trauma from the past out of her now in Jesus' name that came through molestation. All of that out of her now in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I command now every demonic spirit that was attached to every word she renounced, it must leave her now in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus, 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 Jesus. Come here now. Come here. Enough. 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 Stand up. Stand up. Your time is up tormenting this woman. Your time is up now. Every demonic spirit of anxiety, of suicidal thoughts, of sickness, of depression, I command all of you on three 
must leave this woman in Jesus' name. One, two, three. Out of her now. Now, out of this woman, every one of you now. I break every generational curse off of this woman now, in Jesus' name. I command every spirit of witchcraft to come out of this woman now. Every one of you must leave this woman in the order you entered her now. Now. Allow her to speak. Allow her to speak. Now. Beautiful. Beautiful. God is freeing you right now. God is freeing you right now. And what began this deliverance was the words that we're speaking of renouncement. Are there any words the Holy Spirit's leading you to renounce that might have opened up doors for the enemy to have access? Renounce the age. I renounce the age. I renounce automatic writing I renounce video psychic I renounce soul ties I renounce generation curses I renounce all occult activities I renounce spiritual spouse I renounce God is setting you free right now, beautiful. God is setting you free right now. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Every word that she spoke, every word that she renounced, I detach her from everything she spoke, she renounced right now in Jesus' name. And I break every demonic soul tie off of her life now in Jesus' name. I command the spiritual spouse must leave this woman now in Jesus' name. I command this demon touching her and raping her. You must leave her now and never come back to her again. And never touch her again. I command every spirit of witchcraft to leave this woman now in Jesus' name. Every demonic spirit attached to every word she renounced. On three, I command you all, you must leave this woman in Jesus' name. One, two, three, out of her now.
every one of you. I break every generational curse off of her now. Every one of you, in the order you entered her, you must leave her now. Jesus put her to sleep. Literally. When he set her free. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I release this anointing over her now. Be filled. Now. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Jesus, we praise you, Lord, for delivering your people, Jesus. This is not okay for the devil for, to send demons and rape people. It's time for the, the church speaks up, exposes what's going on, and casts those demons out. Amen? This is not okay to continue like this. We need to be free. We need to walk an abundant life. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We renounce any occult activity and done. We need to answer some things, please, my good Lord. I thought it would bring me closer to you. I was so deceived. I renounce yoga. I renounce automatic writing. I renounce any occult generation curses. I renounce any spiritual spouses. I renounce if I have any unclean spirits, such as just as well. I feel something so much right here. It's so big. Thank you. Jesus is setting you free right now. Demons are trembling because they know their time is up. Thank you, Jesus. I detach this woman now from every word she spoke. From every word she spoke. I declare every demonic spirit attached to those things must leave her body now in Jesus name come here come here come here come here now you cannot stay anymore in this woman come here now come here now look at me now every spirit of witchcraft coming in through witchcraft practices you must leave this woman I break every curse, every generational curse off of this woman now. And every demonic spirit is in her stomach right now, bringing sickness and torment and death. I command you all must leave on three, everyone. One, two, three, out. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, you are free. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, you are free. Thank you, Jesus. I release this anointing to you now. I have abundant life, and you are called to be a powerful woman of God and to speak God's truth. So many people's eyes will open up through you. You have a heart of gold. You are a chosen one. God's calling you to be a leader and confound many people around you. I release this power of God, this prophetic anointing to you now. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. What are you doing to this man? We had a deal. We had a deal. You had a deal with this man? Well, your deal is broken now because he belongs to Jesus. You must leave him. 
you. You must leave him. I break every covenant that he made, every power that he made with every, any demon, with any demonic power, before his eyes were opened up. I break every demonic power. I break every word of death he spoke over himself, now in Jesus' name. I remove every words of death that other people spoke to him now, in Jesus' name. On three, I command every one of you tormenting him, bringing confusion to his mind, bringing chaos, bringing torment. You must leave this man now. One, two, three. Allow him to speak right now. God is setting you free right now. He's setting you free right now. Yes, he's setting you free right now. He's setting you free right now. There, there's a covenant that you made, you might not have known, but like words you've spoken. Is there any word that can come to mind? Words you've spoken you need to renounce? I renounce the deal I made to save my uncle's life. Thank you, Jesus. He's, he's, he's crying. Thank you, God. 
thank you, God. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. We sing thank you, God. Thank you, God. I release this anointing over you now. Be filled now. Be filled with peace and joy now. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Your ears hurt. Your ears hurt. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. God is freeing you. He's freeing you now. He's freeing you now. I declare every single demon that's making her ears hurt now. Every single demon that's bringing sickness to her body and pain. On three, every one of you, every one of you that were attached to the words she renounced, every one of you bringing sickness and pain to her body, on three, you must leave her now in Jesus' name. One, two, three, out of her now. I command you to loose this woman. Loose every demonic spirit, bringing tightness around her muscles. Every demonic spirit bringing tightness around her muscles. Loose her now in Jesus' name. Break every generational curse off of this woman. I break every curse of sickness and shortening life and quality of life, bringing no quality to life. Every curse that was put upon her from past generations, I break it off of her now in Jesus' name. freedom to her now. I declare her legs to be renewed now. I speak creative miracles to her legs now in Jesus' name. I release this anointing over her legs now to be made new. That they would be lacking nothing. Strengthened now loosed now with power now her legs her arms every part of her body I release this anointing and I declare complete healing and creative miracles I remove cerebral palsy out of her in Jesus name I speak you are healed you are whole now in Jesus name Thank you, Lord. Look at the peace of Jesus. Look at the peace. Look at the peace. She's still asleep. Jesus put her to sleep. Jesus put her to sleep. This is this is Jesus doing a work. You know, sometimes that that's why people fall back with the power of God, and also when sometimes even people are asleep, it's Jesus doing that to do a mighty work. We see Adam for to do a mighty work. To create Eve, that's a mighty work that was done. Amen. Amen. Well, Adam couldn't be walking around, but God had to literally put him to sleep, put him out.
for God to do a work, a mighty work. And so when people fall back with the power of God, that's like you're dying to your physical body for a moment so God can do a spiritual work. When people fall back with the power of God, and then when sometimes when people are set free, God will immediately put them to sleep and do a mighty work in them and fill them. That's what's happening. Look in him too. Wow. Jesus, you are amazing. Hallelujah. You can make your way. Thank you, Jesus. It's time for a complete deliverance to happen now. Yes. God's seen your heart. God's seen your heart. You're going to renounce. You, you, you don't have to list everything, but you can you can speak as Holy Spirit leads. In the name of Jesus, I renounce Lyme disease, Hashimoto's disease, mold illness, and heavy metal illness. I renounce parasites, bacterial infections. I renounce insomnia. I renounce chronic pain. <laughs> I renounce infertility. I renounce spirit spouse. I renounce spirit children. I renounce arthritis and all autoimmune disease. I renounce depression. I renounce orphan spirit. I renounce despair and hopelessness. I renounce lust. I renounce fornication. I renun renounce molestation. I renounce adultery. I renounce prostitution and masturbation. I renounce rape and date rape. And all sexual abuse and trauma. I renounce eating disorders. I renounce poverty. I renounce legalism and religion. I renounce energy healing and any sort of healing that I did that didn't put my full faith in Jesus. I renounce crystals. I renounce Harry Potter movies and Twilight movies and books and vampire TV shows. I renounce Freemasonry, Pharmacia. I renounce all incubus and succubus spirits. The occult. I renounce all curses and I break all curses on the third child in my bloodline. I renounce any voodoo dolls made of me. I renounce all paganism, frequency music, spiritism, new age, yoga, kundalini, acupuncture, any chanting that I did, self-destruction, double-mindedness, gossip, I renounce death. Ah! I renounce all those things in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 I detach Danica now from every word she spoke of renouncement. It is gone from her. And I command every single demonic spirit attached to what she renounced. Every witchcraft spirit, every curse, every generational curse. I command on three, every single one of you must leave this woman now in Jesus' name. One, two, three. spirit that came in through trauma, through sexual abuse, you almost come out of her now. I break every generational curse off of her now. 
Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. When that sweet girl came up and she started talking about an orphan spirit, I really, I really felt something. I still think. Thank you, Jesus. I command this orphan spirit. We must leave this woman now. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> You must leave this woman now. Every one of you bringing sickness and torment to her. Now you must leave her. Everyone trying to stop her calling. Oh. Out of her now. Yes. 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 I break every hold, every chain, keeping her from moving forward with what God's called her to do. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Complete freedom. Complete freedom. Complete freedom must come to this woman now. None of you can stay. You all must go. Look at me. Look at me. Everyone in the order you entered her, every one of you must leave her now. Everyone coming from past generations must leave her now. Every spiritual sex spouse out of her now. I break every demonic soul tie from every spiritual spouse now. And I declare you all must leave her now. Every spiritual spouse. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. 
the devil is terrified of you. You are so powerful in the kingdom of God. You are a star shining. You are shining so bright to the world for God's glory. And I see thousands, even millions being set free because of you. You have a special heart to see people free. It is special and God is so delighted. He is so proud and all that you've done, inviting people to be set free, telling people about Jesus, about the truth of the spiritual realm, telling people about your testimony. God has seen it all and he's so proud. He's so proud. He's so proud. I release this anointing to you to be used in power that many people would be set free through you, even from today. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. And I speak complete freedom. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. You are amazing, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus, thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Yeah. Yeah. Allow him to speak. I renounce homosexuality from the young age demonic presences. I renounce this collar that once was around my neck against demonic soul tie against my last partner i just break this in the name of body jesus that you can't abuse me mentally and emotionally anymore i don't have a manipulation of you the lust i pronounce pornography and anxiety and depression and anger perversion and all the rituals I grab power from the dark <laughs> to be able to endure the, the whipping, the cutting, the flogging, all the bleeding and tying up and torturing that I endure. It's no longer having a stronghold over me. And I have now tied in the name of Jesus these restraints that I once made. <laughs> For him is no longer his anymore. I am a servant of God and yes. my brothers and sisters. Yes. I renounce HIV, the disease. That is. Yes. I renounce the rugged rape that caused him. I renounce this thing that's inside of me has been tormenting you for the last two months. I renounce you now in the name of Jesus. No. Generational curses, soul ties. I will do There's more. There's more. I can't stop switching. Allow him to speak. The, the rush. The name that I was giving, or giving, when I got into the relationship back in 2015. We ended it in 2019. I just found drugs and addiction. And I renounced that in the name of Jesus. And I will never be bonded by the things of this world. And I will always be satisfied. And I will always be satisfied of this of the of the word of God. Let us 
Thank you, Jesus. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up now. Is it in here? Yeah. She put it in the bag. I want him to throw it away. As a prophetic act, we're going to just throw this away. Oh. I don't know. More? I renounce the rejection that I felt from my peers, the rejection of my own family, and I, I not renounce all demonic soul ties and prostitution. Allow him to speak. And I renounce. Allow him to speak. I renounce all generational ties against my family. The three to four generations that I'm drug and alcoholic. I break that now in the name of Jesus. Are you finished renouncing? Yeah. Okay, hallelujah. I detach you from that now, from that necklace, from every demonic power connected to that oh. necklace now in Jesus' name. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Wow. I command now every demonic spirit attached to that necklace and attached to every word he just renounced, every relationship, every demonic soul tie is broken on three. Every one of you must leave this man now in Jesus' name. You must one. No, we've had him since again. Two. No. Three. anointing over you now and I declare the past is gone you are a new man you are a new creation in Christ today God's will must be done in your life alone in Jesus name you are new you are new you are new thank you Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. I command every demonic spirit that's spoken a false identity over you must go in Jesus' name. In every word spoken, putting you down, I break it off in Jesus' name. Every word spoken against your worth and your beauty through Christ, I remove that now in Jesus' name. All spirit of anxiety yes. Yes. must leave yes. him now yes. in Jesus' yes. name. Yes. Every demonic spirit saying that you are bad, you are not good, yes. you mess up, or you're not good enough, you must leave him now in Jesus' name. And all of the abuse and trauma that happened at a young age, I remove it from you now in Jesus' name. I declare now every demonic spirit came, coming in through that abuse, coming in through that trauma, every single demonic spirit bringing anxiety, keeping you just down. Every one on three must leave him now in Jesus' name. One, two, three. Out of him now. Thank 
you choose this? Are there any anything that, that Holy Spirit's leading you to renounce? Maybe words spoken over yourself, anything. Is, is it God is going to free you when you if you surrender everything to God? When you desire it. God wants to free you right now. He wants to free you right now. And there's nothing to be ashamed of. You just surrender to Jesus. For his glory. For his glory. And you are so loved, Carlos. I love you. We all love you. Jesus loves you. And you are perfectly made. You are beautiful. Perfectly made. There's nothing wrong with you. And we are so grateful for you. And you know what? We will always love you. We'll never abandon you as a family in Christ. Because we truly love you. Even if you mess up, even if you do did wrong, the love remains the same. Because that's God's love for you. God will never abandon you. And we love you with God's love. If you desire to be free, God wants to free you now. He just wants you to surrender everything. And the keys to receiving free deliverance is renouncing. Is renouncing things in the past that have opened up doors for the enemy to have access. That's an act of surrender. But it's your choice. But if you want to be free, God wants to free you today. He can see your heart moving to be surrender. That's why demons tremble. You come here so many weeks, but today is different. Why? Because you have a heart to surrender to God. Yes. Hallelujah. So is there anything you want to surrender to God? Anything you want to renounce? Um, uh, I renounce all sexual immorality. I renounce fornication, adultery, whatever you want to call it. I renounce all. Oh, um, Hallelujah! I renounce all. Oh, You know what? I'm terrified right now, but God doesn't give you the, the spirit of fear. Yes. <laughs> yes. I know Spring Mason Yes. And a lot of their cold or whatever things were. Um oh church hurt. Is God. to be broken now from everything you spoke. Everything you spoke. Okay. Sorry, they just came to mind right now. I renounce Islam and Judaism. Hallelujah. My dad is Arab or something like that. Yeah, I was raised in that. So I thank God he allowed me to be here. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I declare now every attachment. To Freemasonry, from everything you just spoke, from Islam, all of those things, I declare you are detached from them now in Jesus' name, and I speak every demonic spirit attached to those things must go from you now in Jesus' name. You are free now. to be used 
in new levels and new power of God and to have such peace and joy. The past is gone. You are new today. The past hurt is gone. The past trauma is gone. You are new today. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Come here. Come here. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. I command every demonic spirit bringing thoughts of death to this man's mind, bringing negative, dark thoughts, speaking death over him, over who he is, speaking against his identity. Every demonic spirit bringing darkness, death, and torment to him trying to shorten his life. On three, I command every one of you must leave this man in Jesus' name. One, two, three. Three. forgotten your past is gone he loves you so much he loves you so much he's not disappointed he loves you and he has amazing plans for you amazing plans for you dreams he's put on your heart it's time now you're going to see them come to pass because you are free and surrendered to God things that are changing from today they are changing from today bless you. May this anointing increase in you now. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Um, there have been allegations that um, she's been molested. Um, it's been like for three years and she has, uh, she has like anger issues so she gets really mean and, and then I was praying for her and had a uh, scratch me and she was giving me. So I wanted to pray for her and I have also some things for myself that I want to renounce. Okay. Thank you. I renounce homosexuality, anger, rejection, unforgiveness, the abuse, um, physical, mental, and emotional for my daughter and myself. Um, suicidal thoughts, demonic soul ties, manipulation, controlling spirits, intimidation, hurt, brokenheartedness, all witchcraft, three generations back, chronic pain, all things that I have put before God knowingly and unknowingly, and I just surrender my entire life to Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. I declare every demonic spirit that came in this child through abuse must leave her now in Jesus' name. I declare every demonic spirit bringing such anger must leave her now in Jesus' name. 
I break every generational curse off of her now. In Jesus' name. I speak complete freedom to this girl now in Jesus' name. I speak no more chaos and confusion in her mind. And I speak peace and joy to her now that she would no longer feel angry ever, but she would be full of peace now in Jesus' name. And she would know Jesus and love Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I remove all trauma and all regret and all feelings and words of, of shame, shame for yourself in Jesus' name. I declare now, every word you spoke, renouncing, I detach you from all of those things now in Jesus' name. And on three, I declare every demonic spirit that was attached to all of those things she renounced in this woman, every spirit of witchcraft. I command you on three to leave this woman now in Jesus' name. One, two, three. Three, out of her now. I break every generational curse off of this woman, now in Jesus' name. Every demonic spirit speaking against her identity must leave her, in Jesus' name. Every sexual demonic spirit must leave her, now in Jesus' name. Every spirit of infirmity out of her now in Jesus' name. Now, in the order you entered her, now. Look at me. Look at me now. You must leave everyone out of her now in Jesus' name. Complete freedom to her now in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Every single one out of her now. Allow her to speak. Allow her to speak now. Allow her to speak now. Beautiful. God is freeing you right now. He's freeing you right now. Is there anything else God is leading you to renounce? It could have been a door open. Words spoken over me that once gay, always gay. Uh -huh. um. <clears throat> I remove those words that were spoken to her now in Jesus' name. I break the word curses off of her now over her identity. In Jesus' name. I command every spirit of homosexuality, every demonic spirit bringing false identity, I command you to leave this woman now in Jesus' name. I declare complete freedom to this woman now in Jesus' name. 
complete freedom. Thank you, Jesus, for this mighty deliverance you've done. Thank you, Jesus. It must be to completion, I declare, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. I felt like somebody was stabbing me in my chest and I couldn't breathe and just like um like an anxiety and attacks. Uh, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I declare now every demonic spirit bringing anxiety to this woman. You must leave her on three. Every demonic spirit bringing panic, attack, anxiety, waking her up in the night with anxiety. Where well, all she can think is anxiety, anxiety, anxiety. Every demonic spirit causing this. On three, you must leave this woman in Jesus' name. One, two, three. Out of her now. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. You are free. You are free. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. I release this anointing to you now. May your mind be full of peace and joy now in Jesus' name. Full of the presence of God now. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. If we can have everyone go to the edge of the altar now. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Everyone to the edge of the altar now. You know, remember, I, I shared this many times. I didn't share it today yet, but many of you have heard me online. I know lots and I've heard it many times. Remember that it's Jesus who is doing every miracle. Amen. And I've also shared this many times, but I'll remind and say this and again, that I know we see God move in such amazing power when it's like one-on-one, -on -one, when I pray for someone one-on-one. -on -one. But that's not the only way that Jesus moves. Amen. Amen? He's not confined to that. And many times he'll just choose to move one-on-one -on -one like that for the world to see his wonders, for his glory. Or even the renouncing. It, it, it's not that every person must come to a mic with a list that they'd be free. No, 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 no. No, it's just look how much eyes were open. That happened last week. And look today how so many people's eyes were open. I want to be free. I'm going to renounce this. And I'm willing to surrender to God and say this even publicly. I'm unashamed. Amen. So it's so important to understand how God moves so we can have faith in him. And faith in how he wants to move. Right? The woman with the issue of, the, of blood knew that it was Jesus that was releasing the healing power. She didn't confine Jesus to pray for me a certain way and then I'll be healed. No, she knows simply Jesus. When I get to the presence of Jesus and just touch his robe, he doesn't have to say a word. He doesn't have to look me in the eye. I'll be healed. That's it. Okay, that same Jesus is here right now. And so I know many of you are like, I want to get one-on-one -on -one prayer, but guess what? Jesus his plan for you today is to be set free just where you are because it's Jesus touching you, not me, not a power that I have, not a magic power, not a healing power. It's Jesus. It's Jesus doing every miracle. And I'm just a vassal. We are just vassals. And so we are obedient to God when he wants us to pray individually for a person one on one and he moves. But he moves the same way if we can just speak a word for all people and those watching online as so many of you received online. Amen? Amen? He's going to touch you if you can have faith in that. If you can say right now, Jesus, I receive you. I believe you will touch me where I am because you cannot be limited or confined. Amen? Amen. Thank you, Jesus. I want to give you a moment of time right now, just a, just a few seconds now. 
for you to renounce some things. I know Holy Spirit's leading you to renounce some things right now. So if there's things you'd like to speak right now, you want it to renounce, even come up with a list. Speak them now because it's Jesus you were speaking them before, not for me. Amen? It is Jesus you are surrendering them to. And Jesus sees your heart that I'm willing to do this on a mic. This is my surrender. But you don't have to do it on a mic in front of a camera. Amen? Amen. So speak it to Jesus right now. Speak. I renounce this. I renounce this. I renounce this. I renounce these actions I took. Renounce it now. I renounce these words I spoke. I renounce these demonic practices I was involved in. I renounce having faith in this crystal, in this sage, in this practice. Anything that's outside of Jesus, I renounce it. I renounce the words of death I spoke over myself. I renounce the things I agreed with that weren't of God. Just speak it right now from your heart. Speak it right now from your heart. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We surrender to you, God. We surrender everything to you, God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Those of you online, renounce right now. Renounce, surrender to God. Renounce what He's leading you to. God's freeing you today too. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. I detach you now. I detach you now from every single word you just renounced in Jesus' name. I declare now, every demonic spirit that was attached to what you renounced, on three, must leave every person here and watching. One, two, three. Out now. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Jesus' move cannot be stopped. Jesus' move cannot be stopped. I declare now every demonic spirit and every person must leave. Every sickness, every pain must go. Jesus. Every spirit of depression, of anxiety, of suicidal thought must go now. Of addiction must go now in Jesus' name. I remove all trauma. I remove all word curses. I break every generational curse off of you now in Jesus' name. I declare every spirit of infirmity out. I declare every orphan spirit out. I declare spirit of Jezebel out now in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I declare every spirit of mental sickness out. I declare every suicidal thought out now in Jesus' name. I declare every night terror, demonic dream out now in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Freedom is in this place. Freedom. I declare you are 
free now in Jesus' name. I speak complete freedom to you all now. You are free. And nothing can stop God's work in your life. Nothing can stop freedom or healing for you in Jesus' name. Nothing can stop God's calling on your life for you now in Jesus' name. Amen. I declare you are healed. You are free. You are new today. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Yes. We praise you, Jesus. We praise you, Jesus. all the wonders you've done, God, and we thank you for being faithful and not stopping your move for anything, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for every person you've freed and healed today. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. You can make your way back to your seats and continue to praise God. Now, who here wants to be used in the power of God? Yes. Hallelujah. 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 Okay, if you can move back to your seats, I'm going to release this anointing to you. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. This, this anointing that you see here, God wants you to walk in this power of God. Now, he's ready for the harvest now. He's ready to reach his people now. And from today, he wants to use you in power that when you would say demons go, they would go. When you would say anxiety go, it would leave people. Jesus really wants to use it, you like this now if you're willing. He's just looking for hearts who are willing. Pastor Heather shared last week how her whole church is changed completely. How there's been many demons cast out of people since she received impartation here a few weeks ago. Hallelujah. And healing. Thank you, Jesus. And healing. Hallelujah. Praise God. And Dana could testify she received deliverance after a child received impartation from Miami online. Amen. Immediately. So God is ready to move through you right now. He is ready if you are willing with that heart that just wants him to have his way. Just lift your hands to God now. Thank you, Lord. I release this anointing over you now. Receive this power of God now to walk in signs and wonders and miracles. I declare deliverance to happen through you. I declare demons to obey as you command them to leave in Jesus' name. I declare sicknesses to be gone as you pray for people. I declare healing to move through your hands in Jesus' name. I declare nothing shall be impossible for you in Jesus' name. May your family, your community, your churches be transformed now through you. Your cities in Jesus' name. I declare revival to spread through you now in Jesus name in Jesus name amen hallelujah hallelujah praise God praise God hallelujah thank you Jesus thank you Jesus you will never be the same today now step out on faith and use what you have use this anointing now amen Free, freely you receive now freely give Thank you, Jesus. I want to invite you to give to the work of God here, to sow into this good soil, revival, soil. We want to see this revival spread. We want to see this move of God spread. And this happens when we sow seeds. It's like we do our part, and God puts that supernatural power upon the seeds and makes the harvest to come. So God wants to do more. He wants to reach more people. He wants to expand but he needs us to take part. He needs us to say, God, I'm willing to sacrifice. I'm willing to give my seed for your move, for you, Jesus. Amen. And when we sow, we receive anointing ourselves. We receive abundance ourselves. What you sow, you will reap. Amen. So I invite you to sow into this work of God. If you would like to give, we have offering baskets right here. Um, there's an empty basket. You can put them in or semi-empty. And then the other basket has um, giving envelopes. If you'd like to give online, it has directions how to give online. For those of you watching, it's 5fchurch.org give. You can just go to the link in my bio for Instagram and TikTok. 
Um, for, for Facebook, YouTube, you can just go to 5fchurch.org, just our website, and hit give. And for checks, it's out to 5F Church, the number 5F. I declare abundance to all of you now in Jesus' name. The desires you have on your heart, receive them in Jesus' name. I declare doors to open up for you where there was stagnancy before. I declare they must open up favor and grace upon you, upon job interviews. Some of you are... are are wanting something to happen, having this desire in your heart and you feel stuck like there's no way and doors have been shutting in your face. I declare now the doors to open up in Jesus' name and I declare your star to be restored to you, that you would shine, that favor of God you, would make you shine for God's glory and his purposes now in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. How's it going guys? My name is Manny. I'm 28 years old and um, I've been safe for nine years. At one time in my life I was lost, hooked on drugs, addicted to you name it, I did it. And, and at 16 I was a product of not only a runaway but a lot of drug abuse. And I came here initially for a little bit of church hurt that I felt, but God did something different. And what scripture says is definitely what it is. Our plans are not his plans. We make our plans, but he directs the path. And I was not only delivered, but I was given peace. It, it, it's a peace that, it's, everything's just so quiet. It's a peace that surpasses all understanding, and it's just a calming. And for the ones that are skeptical, or for the ones that don't think it could happen to you, Trust and believe, I've been safe for nine years. I read my word, I pray, I fast, and I didn't think it could happen to me. But sure enough, as conniving as the enemy is, God is that much more greater. So I definitely want to invite you guys out because you would, you'll never know. Your deliverance could be just on the other side of obedience. Thank you guys and have a blessed day. Hi, my name is Kyle Horton. Um, today I discovered the power and the anointing and the deliverance that Jesus shares in his gospel. Um, what I felt today was like nothing I've ever felt before. I lived a life that was consumed by addiction, by homosexuality, by things of this world that I kept feeding myself, thinking that I was going to um, satisfy this hole. Today I felt complete wholeness. I felt um, my true identity come into, into the picture, into the fold. Uh, that's one of the things that I struggled with even in um, growing up was self-confidence. What the Lord gives me is confidence from within, not self-made confidence. Uh, I just want to tell you guys that are out there, men and women, yeah. transgender, LGBTQ, Jesus loves you. He created, God created us in perfect image. You are fearfully and wonderfully made. And I have been delivered of homosexuality, and you can too. He wants us to be in complete wholeness and, com and completely free. I am no longer... <laughs> bond. I'm never, I'm not, uh, excuse me, I'm no longer in bondage anymore. In the all See sense that, of it. Uh, Jesus loves you. I think that was the I best one you. I did. 
Yeah. Well, thank you, Apostle Catherine. You're amazing. Hi, my name is Tammy McCleskey, and I was here at the park today, and um, felt like I should be coming here for a couple of months, and finally, I was able to make it. And um, my testimony is, I was in a relationship with the same sex for many, many years, but Jesus came into my life and set me free. But today, I have really been set free. Um, powerful, powerful deliverance. And I just want you guys to know that Jesus loves you. I love you. And don't forget God's reckless love for you. My name is Carlos, or some people don't Carlos. I got here because I was watching it says Aldo Bar. And I will put all his notifications and stuff, right? So like one day this notification came out of nowhere because I wasn't expecting it because he's usually it was not in one of those days where he's usually on. Hmm. So he brought Apostle Catherine on. And I guess there was a spirit of religion in me. I'm like, oh no, there's no way I'm gonna stay if he's, if there's a girl who's gonna speak. And I try to, I was watching it through my computer, I try to like click it off but my mouse wouldn't work and I was downloading something and it wouldn't work right? So I'm like you know what I'm just gonna stay, I'm gonna hear it, you know I just gotta, I'm, I'm gonna look at it from the best point of perspective so I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take the best out of it. So I started listening to it and as she was speaking about her testimony, um, I felt something leave. I didn't quite make anything out of it. I have a six foot long table and there's a lamp at the end and it fall. And I didn't make anything out of it. I'm like probably a truck pass by or whatever. Mm -hmm. So um, the whole thing ended and I'm like, wow, this lady's amazing. That's cool. And I just, I just like, I was able to move my mouse again, I was able to turn off my computer and I walked to my hallway and in my hallway all the paintings and everything's on the floor and I'm like okay what happened probably there was like a powerful truck that passed by or whatever mm -hmm. right so I went to sleep like at 2 in the morning I wake up and I, and I realized well something left me whatever left me took everything down so I got this hunger like 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 when Lazarus was hearing Jesus calling him I'm like, oh, I gotta find out where this lady's at, and I'm gonna go, and she's powerful. There's anointing, so I gotta go. Mm -hmm. So I found out where she was at, and I started coming, and when they started coming, I'm like, I gotta volunteer, I gotta help them whatever I can. Mm -hmm. So we, weeks went by, and it was brought to my attention that there was a group that I'm, I was involved with that, I guess, I, didn't, I never saw anything bad, but I guess there's bad things attached to it. Mm -hmm. So I noticed that whenever I would try to renounce it on my own, I wasn't able to say the words. And then I started thinking like, like I'm not gonna make out anything out of it. I know, and look, 1019, gotta give us authority. So I know how authority, so I'm not gonna make out nothing out of it. I know how authority and I'm clean. But today there was like somebody like renouncing things. And I started feeling like all this depression coming by. And all these like, you're not good enough, you should leave. Why are you here? What are you doing here? And like, it was like spiritual oppression and it was taking my breath away. And like, I couldn't explain it, but I didn't want to make a scene. So I didn't want to go up. And then um, Rohan, which is one of the guys who's like super active here, he told me to, he's like, come in and my, like, my legs wouldn't move. And like, he kept telling me, come in. So I went and when I went, um, like all this fear came i was like i was terrified and i'm like you know what if i die i'll go with jesus and if i leave I, i'll stay with jesus but like the the apostle was saying all these things to me and then my and my inside was like me too me too but I, I couldn't say anything and like i'm like lord please God, come in and give me strength give me strength deliver me please mm -hmm. and it was that point where I was able to like relax and allow God to take control and I was renounce everything that I had to renounce. Now I feel like so light. Praise God, but all glory be to God. 
um, there's things in our lives that we don't really know what it is, but pray to God. If God's telling you to leave it, leave it. Because whatever you're giving away, God's going to come present you a lot better. Believe me. God bless you all. This is Camille, and I uh, just wanted to talk about uh, me having a mental disability. I was psychosis, and I had schizophrenia from the time I was 22 to 29. And I experienced demons tormenting me, uh, mentally tormenting me, raping me from both ends, and just really, really, really trying to kill my spirit. And I, as soon as I went to Apostle Crick and I went to her service, I felt healing, I felt anointing, I felt free. And the demons try so hard to mentally torment me, mentally, I, I mentally get me drained, but I didn't believe it. I rebuked it in the name of Jesus, and I, I said, I have the power. And I just want to speak to people that got mental disabilities, or, you know, they're just, uh, or they have learning disabilities. The, you're, there's nothing wrong with you. You, you are, you are God's child. You are blessed. And when people tell you you're, you're stupid or you're crazy it's not true it, it's 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 a lie from 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 the devil it's, i i i felt i feel the anointing through apostle craig she is truly an anointed beautiful spirit high spirit person and i just want to thank her from for giving me the opportunity to heal and she she's anointed through jesus christ you know so I just want to uh, speak to to the people out there that have disabilities to not give up. The Lord is with you, and even when you feel like He's not with you, He's with you, and He loves.